And this part, guys, I think it's pretty much all strikers we're talking about. Now, a lot of these guys are towards the bottom end of the division. So I'm really looking for those ones that are a bit more value for money. Okay, but it's all forwards in this one. Hope you've enjoyed the last two parts. This is now the halfway mark. This is the striker video. Hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff, guys. Let's get stuck into it. And the first guy we come to is Vangelis Pavlidis, okay? So, a little striker plays for Willem 2. And you can see the last five scores are nice. You know, two greens and orange and two reds. You know, it's fair. Seven goals, three assists and 20 appearances. Good amount of minutes across those games. Good to see. The thing that caught my attention is the five-star defending stats that you can pick up. Um, which is always good for a forward if they're tracking back and getting involved in tackles and passing deep in, deeper in the pitch in the build-up play. It's always good to see. In terms of his kind of on the market kind of price or whatever they're now, he's not the most expensive player you're going to find, especially in the under 23 category. Um, as you can see with some of the auctions, um, they can go, I'd say, look at that, four hours ago, 0 0.073. So if you catch this guy at the right time, a great little under 23 striker. Now it must be said, Realm 2 did not win many games. But this guy was at Bochum, went on loan to Dortmund. I'm guessing they wanted to take a closer look at him, you know, and get him in the academy for a year or whatever. That didn't quite work out, and then he's ended up uh, transferring to Willem 2 as a result. And as you can see, his last season for Willem 2, 11 goals and 25 appearances was a very credible return. And as you can see, for Dortmund 2, you know, he scored when he played, if nothing else. The same with uh, Bochum at the, 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 the younger youth levels. Since he's been at Willem 2, as you can see, he's a 90 minute striker. You know, he, he plays up front for 90 minutes a game undoubtedly win lose or draw the first thing i want to look at here is his defensive stats okay so the tackles is good for a forward um clearances are good as well um dribbles and blocks at least he's got them there um, and as you can see predominantly um center forward but does play wide on occasions um and it'd be actually interesting to see how often those kind of have interchanged in terms of other personnel or whatever but he's mainly scoring from centre in terms of how long he's been at the club and all the rest of it he likes to do layoffs, likes to shoot from distance all his strengths and um, variances of play are really good um, really good traits to see in a 21 year old striker and he does have greens you know last 5, last 15, last 40 they're there the price is nice you know um, I can't really argue with that um, and when you look at the scores overall you know like you get what you pay for, you know, you're not getting him for nothing, you're getting him at a good price, but he's got a 96 in his locker, you know, he's got a lot of oranges, a lot of consistent scores, he's at a poor team, you know, but if he's still going to be scoring 11 goals a season, you know, you're going to capture 11 scores that are like 80, 78, 79, 87, 96, you know, you're going to capture those scores throughout the year, so if the kind of price you're paying for this guy, and you're still going to get another year out of him after this one, and under 23s at least, depending on birthdays and whatever, then I think he's a, a great little guy. Could this be Pavlidis' destiny? Who knows? But the next one is Georges Jakimukis. Okay, now this guy, you will know who he is already. He's got two hundreds in his last five, 21 goals and 20 appearances. If you do not know who he is already, then give yourself a shake and actually have a wee dig a boot because you might find something. Now, um, this guy's not got many cards on the go. Out. He's somebody you're going to have to get really lucky to win or go out in the market and spend money on. The last couple of auctions, you can see his prices went up and up and up, despite Efer doing the same thing. Um, and yeah, very worthwhile striker having. At 25 years of age, he's turned down a transfer to the Championship in January because he's happy in Holland and he's loving scoring 21 goals in 20 matches. So um, long may it continue. The thing I thought when I looked at the guy's history, his background is this guy has just hit upon one of those situations that happens in life, you know, where you find the perfect situation to maximise your own potential and your own, you know, ability to, you know, and, and contribute. And, you know, brilliant for the guy to knock back a move for big money and all the rest of it. And I hope he continues to bang the goals in because, as you can see, this is the, the best spell he's had in his career and you always love to see players doing well, let's be honest. The guy this season just seems to have it all in his locker. Aerial duels, long shots, headers, finishing, indirect set piece threat, likes he gets fouled often, likes to make passing, do flick ons. Really good in form striker. Because of the kind of contribution the guy does give the team with passing and all the rest of it that we just seen, it's mainly greens. Even you know, I know his goals are gonna be propping a lot of this up, but even without them he's still getting forty threes, you know, so I see two of them, a forty one and forty two. You know, he's not really dropping down to the reds that often. I wouldn't be surprised if this was even you know, played ninety minutes in that one. And what about this one? Played fifty three minutes, you know. So there you go. Now I actually had in my notes for this guy 
underperforming, okay? And then, in the last picture, he went and shot an 89. I'm pretty sure it was shown as a 100 at one point. Um, but this guy is a, really, is a forward that when I was looking about and I found, I came across him, I actually really liked him quite quickly. Uh, five assists and two goals in 19 appearances. And, yeah, I just I really liked the look of this guy overall. Again, one thing we always like to see how how many minutes are they getting on the pitch. And this guy is a 90 minute player. A couple of times, yeah, he'll be subbed off at 60, 74, that kind of thing. But he gets a lot of 90s, as you can see there. Um, and he's been at Venlo for the last like seven, eight years or something like that. So he's uh, one of these guys that plays with the, you know, the the badge on his um, on his heart, you know, in that respect, which is always lovely. His passing stats are lovely. Key passes are up at two. Crosses are over one. Long balls over one as well. And um, defensively, the guy gives a good contribution as well. Tackles are there. Clearances a little bit low, but it depends on what kind of defence he's doing, I suppose. Dribbles are high. Blocks are a wee bit below average from what we've seen. Interceptions are good. And then we actually look at the positions that the guy's playing. He plays anywhere and everywhere. He's listed as a forward, of course, okay? But what you can get with these guys on occasion, shots per game, 0 0.9. Dribbles filled. Offside, not often. Um, dispossessed, not too bad. But when you get these guys playing like number 10 or right mid or something like these lists as a forward, you get a little bit of that crep and diata effect where they might actually chip in with a high point count despite not scoring the goals or getting assists every week. So he's just shot really high recently, but as you can see, and this is why I put underperforming because he's got a lot of oranges there and he is just missing a wee bit of something else to click in for that team. He's playing in a lot of different positions. He's filling in for injured and suspended players. And when this guy gets back in, he's just nailing his own position again and feeding the balls into Giamakis, who's in the same team as him. At this kind of price, you know, sometimes you're looking for the Giamakis, right? But sometimes you're looking for the guy that's going to be passing him the ball. Sometimes that's just as valuable to have, you know? Now, I must admit, I've got a soft spot for this guy. He's an excellent poly player. He was there for a few seasons. 28-year-old German forward, Leonard Tai, or Fai. Um, again, right before recording the video, I got a good score. So I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't really uh, let the cat out of the bag in that sense. Hope this is good content for you. But nine goals and two assists in his last 20 appearances is a lovely ratio. We're currently playing at Sparta Rotterdam, who are trying to push into that kind of top seven, those European spots. The price you can pick him up for is pretty modest, considering what this guy offers you. Spar Rotterdam, the last five games, the form's been pretty poor, but, you know, overall they've been having a decent season. And Leonard Ty, as I was saying, 28 years old, the guy's been around the block, he's been playing football consistently at a first team level throughout his whole career. And, you know, moving to Holland in recent seasons, you can see he's found a decent level where he's got a good return in terms of production. So far, nine goals in 20 games, and previously he got nine goals in 17 games, but that was his best season at Pegswall. Um, a wee season in Turkey and a good couple of seasons with uh, St Pauli as I was mentioning earlier but what, since he's been at Sparta again he's an 80 plus minute player there's a few games where he's come off at 70 I suppose you can see that as well but there's quite a lot of 80 pluses there which is lovely defensively his averages round up to over 8 which again for a forward is good uh, or just over pardon me 7 7.08 I beg your pardon um, nothing, none of them individually stand out as amazing but you know when you consider the positions he's playing mainly centre forward um, and that's the return he's getting and you can see his weaknesses and his strengths and all that kind of stuff and he doesn't have any weaknesses listed of course but um, but they're all decent his offensive stats are lovely as well in terms of uh, shots per game key passes they're all great to see dispossess is quite low from what we've seen compared to others some of the passing stats aren't quite there but key passes is nice and uh, the PS percentage is lovely Auctions that appears you will get them a good bit cheaper. As you can see, nice greens for the last five, fifteen, and forty, and you're getting them at a really modest price considering that. And again, when you like, you know, there's no hundreds there, which you know is not something that I uh, get excited about. You know, I love seeing those hundreds and those ninety pluses certainly. But a lovely bandwidth of orange and green, nice variance, nice consistency. You know, he's playing most weeks, and you know he's going to be involved in goals and assists, and you know, great, great card for the sort of price you can pick him up for. Now, there is two Veermans here in Veen, so don't get confused. Unfortunately, we've not got a card for this man yet. Now, someone's trying to get wide with their pricing here on Henk here, <laughs> trying to catch somebody off guard, because there is two Veermans here in Veen, and if you're not careful, eh, please don't buy Henk for that kind of price. This is more the sort of price you might want to pay for a Henk Veerman. There is only three cards at the moment, so watch out for him coming out. As you can watch out for the last five, um, you know we've got a DNP that's actually happening then now. He has started, so he's not a DNP. Despite here in Veen's recent form being really weak, they're actually in a decent position in the table itself so far. At the moment, the point of recording, they're beating Vitus Armum 1-0. Um, uh, where are they? Yep, so they're getting closer to 20 and trying to get into those spots back there. So, despite that run of form, you know, they're still in amongst it. They've had a good season. 
prior to that. And our boy, um, Henke Boy, is on 11 goals and 20 appearances for them, starting up top. Um, a decent squad they've got. And again, this is a 90-minute striker, 90-minute forward. He's going to play every week for you. He's getting just below a goal every two games on average throughout the season. Oh, my God. I didn't realise this before. Oh, maybe I did and I forgot. But he's excellent poly as well. So I def no, I definitely, yeah. Excellent poly as well. So how did I not remember that? Maybe I did. Hmm. 11 goals, 3 assists, good amount of minutes for the appearances he's made. Passing stats, we'll have a peek at them first. They're all A-OK, -okay. key passing, long balls are all quite low, but he's playing up top, I suppose. Offensively, shots per game is good. Um, and offside, I suppose he's trying to get on the, last show, uh, on the last man's shoulder, which is cool. Defensively, not much to write home about. Clearances is nice and high. Um, blind positions at centre forward, 12 goals, 3 assists. Finishing aerial duels. Off, offside awareness is bad, passing isn't that great, but likes to do flick-ons, counter-attack threat, yeah, we like this guy. As you can see, the auction prices are fairly modest for what he is and who he is. 20 years of age, he's no spring chicken of course, but a good array of scores, mainly greens, and when you're getting the goal ratio he's getting, that is almost a foregone conclusion. But you will get away with some auctions maybe going a little bit cheaper because of the whole Joey Veerman mix-up, and because his last five averages is only 49, which will put some people off. And the last one we'll go with is Usama Tanin. Okay, so 26-year-old striker. As you can see, the last five scores are decent. They're currently playing here in Veen and losing 1-0, as we said with Henk. It turns out Henk Veerman has the goal as we're recording right now. So, hey-ho. Uh, uh, Usama Tanin has five goals and five assists and 18 appearances. The minute count is decent for the appearances he's made. And um, he's not cheap, I'm not going to lie. He doesn't have many cards in circulation, which I think plays a big part in his pricing because a lot of people will want to get on and get him used now while the season's still running because Vitas Arnhem are top of the, or they're in the top end of the league. Um, and this guy is playing a big part in their push for the top of the division. As you can see, this guy is getting 90 minutes all the time. Uh, he's been a big part of their season so far. The guy's predominantly played in midfield despite being a forward. Um, and that's part of the reason that his value is so high on so rare because he has that kind of cheat code element. Previously to being at Vitesse, you know, he's kind of been around Europe, I suppose, here in Wien, Heracles, and then going to France for a little while with St Etienne. A little stint with Las Palmas and then back to Holland. Um, but a fairly solid player. When you've got a midfielder that can be playing these types of long balls and crosses per game as well. Um, the key pass count is amazing also. As well as the shots per game. This is a really busy, really attack-minded midfield player who so rare have listed as a forward. But has played the majority of his season at centre mid as you can see here. Three goals, five assists. And his, his attributes are amazing. You know, So having a forward that plays deeper in the pitch and is doing all of this stuff gives you an amazing output. And look at what this guy gives you. Look at what this guy gives you. I know he's not cheap. I know he's not cheap. But look at that. You know, you actually need to use fingers to count how many 99s are, 90, 95 pluses. There's four there I can see at a glance and a 91 and all the high 80s are there. Very valuable card, very powerful player to have at 26 years of old years of age as well. You can easily expect his appearance count to go up and up and up throughout the season. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this guys. Like, subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.